Numbers 10, verse 1, two silver trumpets. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make two silver trumpets for yourself. You shall make them of hammered work. You shall use them for calling the congregation and for directing the movement of the camps. When they blow both of them, all the congregation shall gather before you at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. But if they blow only one, then the leaders, the heads of the divisions of Israel, shall gather to you. When you sound the advance, the camps that lie on the east side shall then begin their journey. When you sound the advance the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall begin their journey. They shall sound the call for them to begin their journeys. And when the assembly is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but not sound the advance. The sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow the trumpets. And these shall be to you as an ordinance forever throughout your generations. When you go to war in your land against the enemy who oppresses you, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets. And you will be remembered before the Lord your God. You will be saved from your enemies. Also, in the days of your gladness, in your appointed feasts, and at the beginning of your months, You shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be a memorial for you before your God. I am the Lord your God. Verse 11, Departure from Sinai. Now it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from above the tabernacle of the testimony, and the children of Israel set out from the wilderness of Sinai on their journeys, And the cloud settled down in the wilderness of Paran. So they started out for the first time, according to the command of the Lord by the hand of Moses. The standard of the camp of the children of Judah set out first according to their armies. Over their army was Nishan, the son of Aminadab. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Issachar was Nathanael, son of Zwar. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Zebulun was Eliab, the son of Helam. And the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set out, carrying the tabernacle. And the standard of the camp of Reuben set out, according to their armies. Over their army was Eliezer, the son of Shadur. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shelemiel, the son of Zerishadai. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Gad was Elisaph, the son of Duel. Then the Kohathites set out, carrying the holy things, the tabernacle would be prepared for their arrival. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set out according to their armies. Over their army was Elishama, the son of Amihud. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abidan, the son of Gideonai. And the standard of the camp of the children of Dan, the rear guard of all the camps, Set out according to their armies. Over their army was Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pajil, the son of Okran. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enon. Thus was the order of march of the children of Israel according to their armies when they began their journey. Now Moses said to Hobab, the son of Ruel, the Midianite, Moses' father in law, We are setting out for the place of which the Lord has said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will treat you well. For the Lord has promised good things to Israel. And Hobab said to Moses, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and to my relatives. So Moses said, Please do not leave, inasmuch as you know how we are to camp in the wilderness, And you can be our eyes, and it shall be, if you go with us, indeed it shall be, that whatever good the Lord will do to us, the same we will do to you. So they departed from the mountain of the Lord on a journey of three days, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them, for the three days' journey, to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was above them by day, when they went out from the camp. So it was, whenever the ark set out, that Moses said, Rise up, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee before you. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the many thousands of Israel.